In this video, I'll show the changes for Overgrowth Alpha 145, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. The first new feature is a placeholder level end menu that appears once you win or lose. You can choose to retry the level, or keep playing. There's also a menu that appears if you press escape in the editor, allowing you to return to the level select screen and switch to a different level. The second feature I worked on is adding more detail to the blood effects. They're now handled per texel rather than per triangle, so they can show smaller cuts and drips. For example, now the spear slash cuts a fine line across the opponent, which then slowly starts to drip. Stab wounds bleed more profusely, but from a smaller area. Larger blades cut deeper, so the bleeding is faster and more extensive. To briefly explain how this works, each character has a unique blood map texture. This blood map stores the amount of blood at each texel, which is a pixel in the texture image. If a weapon slices a character, then it adds blood wherever the cut plane intersects the body, and adds some drips that walk down the surface from the cut, leaving trails behind them. If a weapon stabs a character, then it adds blood based on decal projection of a wound texture, and creates more drips from the entrance and exit points. So far I've just recreated the existing blood effects using the new system, but the real benefit will be new effects that were previously impossible, such as small facial bleeding and blood sticking to weapons. That's it for this week. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, you can do that at wolfire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfire.